kiongozi wetu rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya daktari William Samoe Ruto waziri wetu mkuu mheshimiwa Msalia Mudavadi mawaziri wetu katibu mkuu wa kotu ndugu Francis Atoli waheshimiwa wabunge waheshimiwa wafanyikazi hamjambu nimesema waheshimiwa wafanyikazi kwa sababu nyinyi pia ni waheshimiwa hata kama nyinyi mumeajiriwa pia unapatanga nafasi kila baada ya miaka tano kuajiri wengine na huyu rais wetu William Ruto na mimi ni nyinyi mumetuajiri nyinyi ndio matajiri wetu na kwa hivyo nyinyi ni waheshimiwa your excellency we thank you for getting time to come and have a conversation with the Kenyan workers who are the greatest pillar for our economic development your excellency you inherited the leadership of this country at a difficult time when the economy of this great nation was in a very difficult place and your excellency we want to thank you for the great efforts that you have put to restore the kenyan economy and we are glad that there are signs of recovery your excellency the workers here today and elsewhere in the country are greatly part of the hustler nation and they have felt in a very big way the weight of the cost of living your excellency through prudent management and well thought out interventions you have successfully brought down the cost of unga from an all-time high of 230 shillings to slightly above 150. your excellency that and other interventions it is true it is in between 150 170 depending on where you buy your excellency as we proceed we want to urge you to continue putting into place pragmatic interventions and we thank god for the rains and through the interventions you have made of subsidizing the cost of production through availing fertilizer at reasonable prices with these rains we have no doubt before the end of the year the prices of food commodities will go down finally your excellency all these things are not possible if there is no political stability Na mzee atuoli ningetaka kuwakishia ya kwamba Our president has done everything possible to reach out And to encourage dialogue When the Azimio group reached out our president And said they want to be given an opportunity to leave the streets And get engaged in bipartisan discussions The president readily agreed because he was very magnanimous and he provided leadership with this country those of us work closely with him some of us were of a different idea but the president persuaded us that it is useful to give dialogue a chance the asmio people have been given a chance but they have instead decided to go back to the streets what they must know because i saw them pen a letter yesterday saying that the president should allow them to go to the streets president william ruto on 13th of september took the bible before god and the people of kenya and so to protect and uphold the constitution one of his responsibilities in upholding the constitution is to protect life and property the several times the asbio people were in the streets there was no demonstration it was destruction of property, looting of private property, killing people, and injuring others. 
we still urge them to consider to proceed in the bipartisan talks in Parliament. In the unfortunate event that they decide that they don't want to go that route, and they want to go to the streets, they must understand that the President has a constitutional duty to protect life and property. And asking the President to look the other way as people destroying, destroy people's property is asking him to violate the Constitution, which he cannot agree. Nadivyo tunauliza hawa kesho waende, wafanya vile wanataka, lakini tugeuliza huyu mzee kwa heshima, awache kusumbua hawa mahasola ya Eastlands na Southlands. Hawa mahasola wajui pahali sava hiko. Kwa hivyo wakuna aja kuenda kuangaisha hao na kuwaribu mali yao na kuwauzuia kuenda kazini. Kama wako na shida na William Ruto, president wetu, si wanajua pahali yako pale state house, waeleke hapo, watafute grupu ingine ileke kwangu, grupu ingine ileke kwa ada nduwale pale DOD, si ingine naeza ileke kwa kidiki pale Harambe House, yuko wajagani ya kusumbua na inchi mahasola, wanatafuta riziki yao, wanatafuta unga, wanatafuta vile watasomesha watoto wao. And buwana phrases are to all those people are not sincere. Because if they were sincere, they would have demonstrated then when unga was at 230. And they didn't. That is when they would have done it. So they are not sincere. And if the issues they are raising are with President William Ruto, they should go to State House and face him there instead of going to Angaisha Watu Yakawaida Mahasola Kenya. And finally, Buana Tuoli, I want to congratulate you for your leadership and pragmatism. This celebration, Your Excellency, is one of a difference. The Labour celebration last year, there was not any discussion about workers. The whole ceremony from the beginning to the end was discussing William Samoy Ruto. But today it is one of a difference. We are discussing the issues of the Kenyan workers. And that is why we want to say, Banatoli, you have shown pragmatism and leadership. Whether you had another president in mind, ulikuwa nasema huyu wawezi, ata ulikuwa mesema akishindwa, atavute miti ya kujinyonga. But siku wa meshinda, you have done the right thing. You have, you have shown you are a democrat and you have respected the will of the people. And that is the way it should be. So I want to urge you with respect. Hao marafiki yako uwatafute. Pale kwako kitengela. Tulikuwa tunakufuatilia mkikana hawa. Uandalie chakula. Na hile vitu mulikuwa muna kunywa na hawa. Na hile muziki ya lingala. Mukisha maliza uambia maneno ya kuamba uchaguzi uliisha na raisu wa Kenya ni William Samoe. Na hiyo ni ukweli. They should stop living in denial. Ata wakifaa sufuria kwa kichwa, raisu wa Kenya ni William Samoe Ruto. Ata wakisema nini, ata wakimutukana, yeye di raisu wa Kenya. Na wewe bwana mzee atoli kwa sababu wewe umeelewa maneno wewe ni mzee wa ite. Wakiburudika pale wakichapa moja bili tatu watasikia maneno. Waeleze ya kwamba uchaguzi uliisha na wewe mwenyewe umeti demokrasia and you have respected the will of the people because that is the way it should be. Kwa hivyo rais wetu wa Kenya wanategemeo kwako ya kwamba utalinda mali yao kwa sababu uko na kasi ambaye ni ya kikatiba ya kulinda mali ya wa Kenya kutoka kwa muhalifu wote akuwe ni nani au ni nani kwa sababu hiyo ni katiba na ni lazima katiba itekelezwe kwa hayo mengi ningemuuliza kwa heshima sote tusimame tuchukue nafasi hii tumkaribishe rais wa Kenya president
wafanyikazi wa Kenya hoye. Bwana Yesu asifiwe.